Hello, hello everyone. I'm here to. Um, this is the time of the year where I reincarnate out of uh, my warlock build. That uh, is the what I did afterwards, uh, after the the ranger that you see on the channel before. And uh, yeah, I'm doing this uh, this video actually late in my schedule because I'm actually ready to reincarnate. As you can see, I already threw away my potions and my spell components and also most of my equipment. I'm like, <laughs> I'm just keeping heroic stuff on for the epic reincarnation, so you see very bad stats, <laughs> actually. Uh, but I didn't want actually to to share the equipment because it was uh, still a work in progress with the uh, last update 49 I wanted uh, to change my artifact I was using the, the charisma one from Sharna but I wanted to switch to the new goggles so that they could stop using the lantern ring and so on and so forth so didn't I really want to, to share uh, what's basically an old uh, layout for the equipment so I so yeah um, this is slightly different than what I'm used to doing and I will uh, will just focus on on the build itself which was rocking around uh, 2k HP and 3k SP as to the main stats the, the saves were of course not this low but it were, they were in the hundred for both fortitude and will whereas reflex was pretty bad was around the 50 I was walking with a 230 PRR and a 150 MRR which was a little low but I had some issue finding uh, an actual MRI item, so yeah, the, the, the stats were not perfect anyway. I, I had the charisma of 96, and I still hadn't my um, my sentient we weapon, so I could easily have gone around 105, 110, depending on some stuff. So yeah, the, it was pretty solid. Honestly, it was one of my best, uh, for sure the best at soloing, I could solo raids, I was able, uh, you can see that I was able to solo um, a, a Fall of Truth and uh, and the Demon Queen raid, Demon Queen raid on Epic Elite, Fall of Truth, uh, I was able to do it on hard, but it was a really bad run. And so you didn't see it on the channel, but you saw the 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 epic normal one. So yeah, you you probably can tell that this build was actually decent. Was even able to do some CC on R10. So yeah, I was pretty happy with this. The, the build is pretty standard, put everything in charisma, secondary constitution, nothing else uh, matter. It's a dragonborn, uh, specifically a white dragonborn, because it, it gives you access, uh, potential access to thing, to good things, and this is a, a cold warlock, a Karsavi Storm warlock, and uh, I chose that because it gives the best in terms of uh, um, of uh, boss DPS due to the various uh, damage over time uh, over time spells, and also uh, it really synergizes with uh, one of the spells that I was using later on, which is Burst of Glacier Worth, which uh, gives a lot of CC and a minor damage help and also I think absolute zero is the best in the game it works basically on everything nothing no death world nothing basically 
can is immune to that, with the exception of uh, um, fire uh, enemies that are overgenamed or the thwarted because uh, it tries to be um, an instant kill on them, on them, and so if they are they are that thwarted, they are actually immune. Whereas uh, if they are not fire, they are stopped there forever and they are basically dead because really it doesn't expire you can leave them forever there so yeah it's I, in my opinion it's uh, overpowered as an ability anyway as for fits what they what did they take well it's pretty easy honestly well for starters i took the uh the arcane the sorry the wizard active past life because plus one to you all this is, is too good to pass and that was the extent of past lives that i actually used as for other feats i took the standard metamagics maximize and power and quicken um, don't don't take heighten because you have very little spells that actually would get a boost from this the tentacles would just get a plus two and basically nothing else would get a benefit from item so don't don't spend a fit on that rather i took uh, where is it i took for such personality of course for will saves it's uh, was basically mandatory and uh, I also took magical, I'm sorry, no, not magical, I took a spell penetration because there are quite, quite a few spells that have a spell penetration check, including the tentacles, but also much old. And so I thought would, uh, it was a good idea. And also I took a spell focus evocation because it really helps with the disease. As for war warlock feats uh, here, you you don't really have a choice. These are all basically auto granted. Uh, I think I'm missing some heroic feat. Or no, they are all sorry, sorry about that. Then as for epic feats, at a twenty one, of course you take ep epic eldritch blast. Then at 24, I took Burst of Clash of Wrath, Wrath because, ex as I said, it's an amazing CC. Works on basically everything and it freezes, so really good. Also, works on Evocation, which is your big focus as to spell, f uh, as a to, to school DC. Then at, at 27, well, I actually don't, do, yeah, at 27. I took Intensify, just an additional Empower, basically. And at 30, I took Embolden for additional plus two DCs. So basically, I have all the good um, metamagics and, every, uh, and all of its own. Also, at 26, you take Epic Spell Power Light, because uh, I am an enlightened spirit, and so light uh, was my main focus. Aside from cold, but yeah, light was better because uh, I was also using divine wrath from exalted angel, and so that's a big uh, amount of damage. Also, at at uh, not no, maybe this was twenty eight. This was twenty six. Sorry, the epic the pack uh, the pack the dice really 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 good you have to take this is new it didn't exist before there was another feat but uh, yeah now you have to take that and at 29 i took the ethic wording because there are some ability that trigger the ethic wording even if it's not supposed to like the divine blasphemy it should give me some uh, values Maybe it does only in quest, but basically it's triggered by the, that, and so you get easily MRR and PRR. 
because it's uh, very good on its own. As for legendary feat, I took a Scion of Flame of Fire. Uh, yeah, the plus 25 critical damage with all spells is good, but also the plus 10 MRR and plus 10 uh, PRR was the best of all the options there. So, uh, yeah, not much else to say. The, the feats were maybe a little less standard than usual, but you will see in the announcement that my build was... Uh, slightly different than usual. As for spells, you take jump and master touch, because jump because uh, yeah, the best spell in the game basically, and master touch so that I, uh, I didn't need to take uh, um, shield proficiency, which also means that I don't, I cannot take the shield mastery feats, but in the end I think uh, this was for the best. Of course, uh, this is auto granted by being Cursory Storm. This is this comes from announcement. As for level two, you get this from announcement. You get this from Cursory Storm. I took Slit Storm because if I use uh, the Eternal Flux of uh, Freedom of Movement, this doesn't impact me, and uh, it's a very good source of crowd control. I also took Dispel Magic so that I could use it on, on Spell Wars and there was really nothing better at this level. Level 3, this you, you get Gripping Cold from Cursory Storm, one of the best spells, and Crushing Despair from Announcement. This is, I, I never cast it is if not by accident, but yeah, it's there uh, what gives. As for spell, you need to take a Dimension Door is a uh, essential spell on mm, always basically and also took dark discorporation because it's a very good source of uh, um it's an oh shit button you you get 25 percent incorporeality and invisibility so it, uh, it, it takes away the aggro and you get a 50 percent reduced damage from everything at level 4, you get uh, Isis Storm from Carcery Storm, uh, and you take protection from element and the Evil Black Tentacles. This is the best source of cloud control you have access to. There are others, but this is the main one. At the low levels, it always works, so you need to take it. As for level 5, you get like by betting cold from Carcery Storm, which you don't really have the mana to use it all the time, but it's still nice to put on some bosses. Also took Finger of Death from whenever there is uh, some mob distant in the distance that I really don't want to get to, or switch my my st my shape. So yeah, because um, it was decent. Also, it took undead to death because many undead, and, uh, undeads are immune to cold, so it took a long time to kill. But uh, undead to death uh, was working very good because they have very poor will saves, so they are quite often destroyed, even even in this build. Then you get uh, as for level six. six Glitter Keeping Cold from Carcery, and then you take Old Monster Mass because it's amazing, and Wood of the Banshee because it's amazing. These uh, these two spells don't need any introduction, just take them. There is really nothing else to take at this level that's so good as these two. As for scales, max concentration. Max Intimidate, I was rock rocking uh, uh, 123, 131 maybe, by using the icon of Bitter Wind, which uh, basically let me, sorry, yeah, which uh, basically let me tank any boss, almost. Though I couldn't really take uh, 
some project image, but it was not a tank. It was just a, if needed, I could take it. Mm, in some runs of killing time, where the tank is, was, was pretty bad, I could uh, hold the aggro of, of Corcasa while the tank was getting rest. And uh, yeah, it was pretty fun being a secondary tank like that. See, even without a charisma item, I am at 99 right now. And as I said, this uh, could be double. For So, yeah, y y you get the, g the gist of that. Also, put uh, max out uh, spellcraft, put some points in tumble, one point in tumble, max out UMD, just for the fun of it, I was over 100 for that, <laughs> but still you should put some points in, in UMD so that you can throw skulls even where you're next leveled and uh, with that penalties in, in, in the very bad situation. Leftover points went to heal because uh, yeah, some I had Cocoon, I had mass kill criticals or some spell power. All oh, was fine. Didn't put anything in anything else. I really didn't need it, need to. So, yeah. As for announcements, where the fun is always the max. As you can see, compared to many people, Actually, I was doing an enlightened spirit with a very big soul eater secondary and only a third tainted scholar. Compared to most people, I was losing uh, the death world spell from here and the spell and the 20 spell critical damage from the here, which is sure were some big, uh, big losses. I, I agree with that. But the thing is that in epics, the spell critical damage is often time overkill, especially for the big spells like Deep Infra and uh, Energy Burst. Whereas uh, I prefer to focus on more of a, of a continuous damage rather than big damage that sometimes it doesn't work. Especially because I wasn't getting close to 100 the spell critical chance due to the fact that I missed the, spell, the critical chance uh, um, past lives, epic past lives. So, yeah, this is, this is a difference. And also, I really wanted to um, max as much as possible the streak and consume for damaging bosses over time. And the bar I wanted the burning blood to have uh, basically I had uh, one, two, three, four different uh, damage over time plus I storm, so for a total uh, and I consume and stricken, so I had uh, basically six, uh, se seven damage over time thingy throughout bosses. Also, I wanted uh, the great hunger to increase the damage even more, adding 2d6 is chaotic and uh, yeah, and getting all the goodies from here, which uh, were actually pretty good, so when by point, I took all the course up to the second nature, took stricken, took uh, consume, the feeding frenzy to be really faster because I was always using this, so I, had, I was 20% uh, uh, faster, basically as a barb. <laughs> also took the taint the blood for minus, uh, minus 4 to saves, basically. <clears throat> also, I had one point in hungry for the extraction, because it was the only relevant thing up on tier 1 that I, need, I needed to get. Of course, Taint the Aura for additional debuffs on enemies. Debuffing is a secondary focus of this, uh, this version. Uh, I didn't take the, these two because they really didn't seem to offer much 
on a bursting warlock. I took Cone as my secondary shape, which was surprisingly good in our tanks, where uh, I was basically a DPS, and uh, the aura isn't very good for DPSing, was better when soloing or doing off tanks, so I, when doing high reapers, I was always uh, uh, switching between the two uh, stances and getting very good results by doing that. Take the scholar, of course you want stanch, so get all the way up here. Absolutely get fine uh, health, because uh, it works fantastic with all the stuff that you cast. And you get some temporary hit points, that really helps. As much as uh, damage as you can, and also uttered blast, because uh, you need to switch to evil. You didn't take it chain shape because I don't like the fact that it's only uh, scales for 95% spell power so it didn't seem to, to really be worth it <laughs> as for the enlightened spirit take everything from to the capstone for the 20% uh, um, HP bonus take Ankimonosos for resilience of body and spiritual defense and resilience of the soul, basically all the defense stuff. Three, three, three for additional damage, this is but defense and additional damage. One point here to get all the resists, which is really good. Only two points here because I didn't have the third one, but yeah, so pretty good. Enhancement, then the blasts. The medium level of proficiency, the brilliance for additional defenses, the shining through, of course, and the displacement SLA so that I could take the Dark Discorporation and the Dimension Door at level 3. This is a very good uh, um, announcement just to, to have a free slot for other stuff. Only took one point here because uh, it's a plus uh, 5 universal spell power for just one point, so it was pretty good. I wish I could spend more here, but uh, ah, the, the, the AP spread was pretty tight. If I had more uh, racial action point, I could get maybe another point of charisma here, or get some HP from this line, so I will revisit this build once I have more I have Russian APs. As for Epic Destiny, the answer was Exalted Angel. It gets a lot of stuff, DC, charisma and additional spell spell like abilities. From here you get a masked moderate wounds which works really well with your final health because you also give a if I have 108 points from, from that, thanks to your charisma, and you heal everyone, including yourself. This gives you a plus 2 charisma, as well as additional uh, debuffs to the enemies. These are not really relevant, but uh, yeah, you, you could use them in theory, but not really worth uh, using them. Take all the charisma that you can. Then endless fate for additional spell points, some light spell power, additional crowd crowd control, thanks to sound birds. This is was a really good source of crowd crowd control. So yeah, really good. Then one point in Blood Radiance, because I had to put one point somewhere, and I discovered that uh, basically your aura triggered both part of that, both the, the Radiance and the Blood part, so you... I could, I, if I could redo it, I would probably spend the maximum point for maximum gain on spell power. It was a very good um, chunk of spell power. Then the leap of faith because I like to jump around. If I had more 
uh, Russia action point so many that he could get memory of flight I, I would uh, not take that but uh, since he couldn't leave fate is mandatory in my opinion then Divine Wrath big healing big damage everything you want and reborn in light because uh, yeah resurrecting yourself is really good as for twist of fate I take energy burst because big damage based on your best spell power Imperial magic because having your aura trigger trigger and get all these goodies is amazing your aura is light so it, it works Rayform was just a very good way to get 15 spell power and there was nothing else really worth it the alternative well, would have been to take uh, evocation specialist but I wasn't really seeing a really good improvement so I went with that instead and finally as for the last one Rejuvenation Cocoon because you have to have Rejuvenation Cocoon so this is uh, my my warlock I had a lot of fun with that it was one of the more, more fun tunes that I had now I'm reincarnating it to a fire with the soul and they will update you as soon as I do that Thank you everyone and see you soon.